Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with the other video. Today I am going to talk about that GCP Secret Manager Secret Version Rotation using Terraform. Secret Manager is a safe and seamless storage system for sensitivity data. You can store the variety of the configuration information such as API keys, passwords and the service account keys. It will be recommended to rotate your keys on a regular basis as you reduce the risk to the your systems. Versioning The secret manager supporting the versioning, it stores the multiple version of the secrets. There is a types of operation. There are two types of operation is available. Disable the secret versions, enable the disabled secret version. We will see one by one. The first one is that disable the secret version. You can disable the specific version of the secret to the temporary to block the access. Next one is that enable the disabled secret version. If you have disabled the any secret version, you can re-enable it allow to assess that secret again. Architecture diagram. One of the best way to rotate your password and store the sensitivity information in that secret manager. Uh, in this diagram, you can see here uh, using the Jenkins to schedule that uh, job to every hour or monthly or weekly basis, weekly based on your requirement. You can choose any other CACD tool apart from the Jenkins. Uh, using the Terraform, we are using that uh, time rotation resource. It forcefully to recreate that resource when the given period has been paused. It will be stay until the given period is paused again. So, under that secret manager, we are storing that uh, newer version based on that uh, time intervals. We will moving to that uh, Visual Studio code. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire code is available in my repository. You can clone from any time. The left hand side you can see that this is a Terraform code structuring. We can see the file one by one. The first file is that main.tl file. The first resource is that Google project service. Here we are enabling the secret manager API service. Uh, before creating the resource, we must do enabling the API service. The next resource is the timing rotation. It will be recreating of itself whenever the given period has been paused. The parameter is rotation minute equal to 5. This means that after creating the resource, there will be the no changes on every Terraform plan command for next 5 minutes. So once the 5 minutes period has been paused, then the resource need to be recreated. It. Next resource is the random strings. Here we are creating that random string value according to that uh, length and the patient characters. Here we are keeping the key, uh, creeper block. So based on the time interval, it we can rotate that strings. <coughs> Next resource is that Google secret manager secret. It will create the new secret within the uh, specific uh, GCP project. Um, the labeling uh, part, it will be used to do that uh, assigning the naming identification part. Next one is that replication block, uh, it will be automatically handling the replications. Uh, remember that just we are creating the secret manager with the empty value. The next resource is that uh, Google secret manager with the secret version, it will create the secret version. In generally the secret value must be a uh, base64 encoder. Uh, you can see here this is uh, a secret underscore data, here only we are storing the random string result. Uh, next file is the provider.tl file. I am using that uh, Terraform recommended version whichever provide the documentations. The, in the provider block I use the credentials. You can see here this is a service account credential. I already provide that necessity permissions to create the secret manager. The project and the regions uh, everything I defining within the variable sections. Next file is that uh, variable.tl file. You can see here these are the, the required parameter. Uh, I, all the parameter I defined with the types equal to strings project locations and the regions we can see on the terraform.tl force the first one is the project my testing uh, 409 10 here only i going to create the secret manager location i defined with the us east one and the region i mentioned with the us next one is that dot ignore here i ignoring the file while pushing to the repository yeah we are moving to the terminal to executing the terraform operations i just click the three dot open with the new terminal First, I'm going to execute the Terraform init command. Here, I'm downloading that all the plugins. Yeah, now that plugin is initialized. Next, I'm going to executing the Terraform plan command, uh, validating the syntax and as well as that defined parameters. Okay. 
here that the file is was going to add there is a known zero changes no destroys uh, then i'm going to executing the terraform apply command i'm providing the user input is yes Now the Terraform successfully completed. Now I am moving back to the GCP console to validate that secret manager. First you have to choose that uh, your project where you are going to create a secret manager. In my case I am choosing with my testing. Now I am going to search with the secret manager. Yeah, you can see here the db password is generated now i'm going to click the db passwords yeah you can see the thing the versioning is that uh, the version number one now is created uh, you can view the secret value now we are waiting for the five minutes to complete that time period again we are executing the terraform plan apply command so now i'm going back to that visual studio now I'm going to execute a Terraform apply command. Yeah, you can see I think that there is a three changes. Just I given the EPS input. The yeah, Terraform operation successfully completed. I am going back to that GCP console. Just I refreshing the page. Yeah, you can see here the version 2 is generated. The version 1 is, is destroyed. Okay, so you are keep on executing the after the period of 5 seconds. It will be create the new version. I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.